the groceries. The dumpling. I just moved to Paris and I have no friends. My first French lesson in France. I'll insert a clip right here, but it is so cute because in LA when I would take French lessons, my French teacher would come to me and we, you know, would go to my apartment and we would, you know, learn French. But here we go to the like little cafes and she's like, if you want, we can go to a different cafe each time and try the different foods. And I'm like, ah! So I felt like it was a good lesson. She kind of was telling me, she basically wanted to see what level I was at. And I feel like I know the very basic, like, you know, je, tu as, il a, nous avons, nous avons, present, past tense, whatever. But it's a lot of vocabulary that I need to learn. But I don't know. She asked me, she's like, how do you feel? I'm like, I honestly, I feel really good about it. And I told her, I was like, my two things that I want to do while I'm in Paris, because I told her that I'm going to be living here, is I want to learn French and I want to get an Hermes bag, which I <laughs> already said. So this is the one thing that I still have to do is just learn French. But this is my outfit today. I've noticed that the girls are very uh, chic and basic with their outfits. Like, you you know what's so crazy? I wore leggings outside out and about just running errands. In LA, in Canada, that's so normal to just be wearing athleisure out. People were staring at me. Apparently, people were telling me it's not normal to wear athleisure and leggings outside of working out. My waiter even was like, hello, fit this woman like what the <laughs> but blue had a good day today she went with me to my french lesson she said hi to my french teacher we did lots of walking oh my gosh she looks so cute right now baby why are you doing that you're giving me the puppy eyes i have a couple things that i want to do today i already have my nightstands all made i have the the pink lights i need to order a new neon sign i think i might order it on amazon today and another thing that i have to do is i have to do a little bit of grocery shopping i don't really have much like i have my nespresso cups i have like like a crystal saw it i have like greek yogurt in the fridge but that's like it i literally only have wine in the fridge that's the only thing that i have the most important thing though let will start there so i don't know when i went to the grocery store it is hard to find everything it's a lot easier to order on uber eats for me because everything is in French and like at least when I go on Uber Eats I can go on Google Translate and it's a lot easier to, the, the personal shopper can find it on Uber Eats so I think I'm gonna order Uber Eats get some groceries and I think today is just like an errands day I also have so much to tell you because I didn't vlog this weekend basically me and my friend went to we went out to the club because she's just visiting from Toronto um, I know this one place I came I went before with one of my friends it's called Lac it's right beside the Arc de Triomphe <laughs> let me pause this so we go out to Lac and I noticed it's super busy there it's super hard to get in i did a whole story time on my spam account because like at first they were in lanace and we had to finesse our way in if you guys know anything about me i will scheme to get into any place that we were not invited to so anyways we get into the club i realize it's so busy it's so packed I, there's people getting so many bottles i'm like oh someone's having a party the next day i look at their fucking tiktok beyonce was there and i literally had no idea like beyonce was literally i was breathing the same air as beyonce with the and I didn't even realize. I was like, oh, it's so busy. I don't want to go where it's busy. Like, I want to be able to dance because Beyonce was literally there. Like, what the f***? And JC. <laughs> but yeah, I also had a lot of FOMO because Beyonce just performed in Paris. I didn't go because my system was here. And, you know, we had a lot of work to do. So I was like, oh, I don't want to go. I regret it now. And now I'm watching a YouTube video of the Beyonce Renaissance tour because <laughs> I have FOMO. Merci. I got all of the groceries. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. Here's everything that I got at the grocery store. Okay, you're gonna judge me because I got a lot of candies, but I want to do, I don't know if I want to do a YouTube video or a TikTok video, but I want to do a video trying French candies. Le bon point. <laughs> so, hi. This is not for you. This is candy. I have a couple candies in my drawer already, but I have this one, the Haribo. I love the marshmallows. And then also don't judge me. I just got a lot of frozen food. Okay. Everyone knows judging. They're like, bitch, why you get so much frozen food? I just like to have it. Just, you know, I got some fried rice or just rice some pasta samosas some skewers i'm so excited the dumplings i'm so excited because i always eat dumplings some barbecue chips they're my weakness some sour cream and onion chips this is not a healthy grocery haul in any way shape or form pizza 
Bitch, I have no food, okay? I have some bagels. I have some cream cheese already, so. Everyone was telling me I need to try this. It's the Carambar candy. Apparently, this is a really popular French candy. And then some more dumplings, and I'm so excited about this. I ordered on Uber Eats, so I thought they were gonna be the big containers, but they're just the small ones, but they're just the Starbucks cappuccinos. Just in case. I don't have time for a coffee, or I don't want my Nespresso. It's just nice to have that. I also got some more pasta, some Greek yogurt. I already have some blueberries in the fridge. <laughs> some cheese for some wine. I have a lot of salami. And this is another popular candy. It's called Surf Fizz. And then I got a bunch of these waters because I've been drinking the tap water, which I think is fine, but it, I like to just have waters on hand just in case. So I have a couple. I ordered four of these. They were like 25 cents each. 25 f***ing cents! Like at the airport, they would sell this for like 15 bucks. I swear to God! These are 25 cents, but it was so quick. Uber Eats is so quick here. I, it took like 15 to 30 minutes. In LA, it would be at least over an hour. I'm like, oh my God, they were quick here. But I'm gonna put all of this in the fridge and the freezer. Oops, I just got it. Okay, now I have food. I have all this stuff in the freezer. Don't look at my Ben and Jerry. <laughs> my leftover Starbucks I keep that but it's not the most organized but I just have like all of my frozen foods frozen pizza my ice cream and my ice cubes and then I have like my like meal prep like pre-made meals eggs blueberries water salami I don't know if I should put should I put the salami and cheese together <laughs> The salami and cheese, my yogurt, my milk, um, pesto for uh, pasta. I have mushrooms. It's pre-made. My rice, all of my bagels, my Starbucks, my cream cheese, wine, most important. <laughs> And then my um, Starbucks, I just keep it. You know what I need? I need grapes. Grapes would just be so good with cheese and salami, like a little cheese platter. You know what my dad would always say when me and my siblings would cry? Such a dad joke, he would be like, you know what goes really good with wine? Cheese, like you guys are just whining all day. And I'm like, dad, <laughs> he's like, do you want some cheese? It was such a dad joke. <laughs> but guys, I don't know if I've ever really kept you updated, but I am basically, I just moved to Paris and I have no friends friends like no friends here and yeah it's nice when my friends come to visit from LA or from Toronto but when they're not here it gets super 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 lonely but I'm really excited yesterday I went out with my one friend he's from LA he introduced me to two of his friends that were from Paris so now I have those two friends and I've also been DMing this girl it's actually the funniest story this girl I saw her TikTok because I was searching up how to bring your French to France her TikTok popped up and she's explaining like her experience with like Air France. I show up to French B, they don't let me fly with blue. And then I go over to Air France because I saw her TikTok and I was able to buy a ticket like that. I don't know, it's just like a crazy full circle moment because I'm like, I if I didn't see her TikTok, everything is meant to be. If I didn't see her TikTok, I probably wouldn't even be here right now with blue. So I DM'd her and I asked her for advice and she was so nice and so sweet. And she was like, we have to meet up when you come to Paris. And she even said she wants to do like a Frenchy meet and greet here in Paris or like a Frenchie meetup with like everyone that has a Frenchie and she like submitted a posting and everything. I don't know, I think it's so cute. So she just DM'd me. I think we wanna meet at, it's called Le Jardin du Luxembourg. So we can like go on a walk with our dogs. I'm gonna maybe bring a ball and see if we could play fetch because Blue hasn't been able to go to any parks recently. But yeah, guys, I'm so excited. I might have friends now. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, sometimes it, it feels really lonely, especially like in the morning when all of my friends in LA and Toronto are asleep. Like I can't text anyone like I always at the back of my head I'm like what if I like break a bone or what if I break my leg and I have nobody to call and nobody here like it's just I don't know it gets really lonely and there's moments where I just like have a little breakdown and I'm like I'm so lonely like I'm never gonna make friends I think it just hit me to just looking at old photos of my friends and my family and my boyfriend even though they're coming to visit it's just <sighs> I'm not gonna see them. I'm gonna be alone for a while. It feels like the people that I love are so far in time difference. It's very isolating. But if anyone can do it, I know that I can. It's just scary moving to a different country where you don't know anyone. I literally have no friends here. And I'm like texting my friends at home, but they're not awake. It's just slowly. <sighs> 
too. I'm really happy that I've been like pushing myself to meet people and to really put myself out there because naturally I'm an introvert. I can come across as extroverted if I'm like in my element, but naturally I'm very introverted and I keep to myself. It's just me and like my inner child. So it is scary for me, but I think that, I don't know, it's just a lot of just self-development and we'll see. Hopefully I can make a friend. <laughs> But I'm gonna have a little snack and then we're gonna Uber on over there. I am so hungry. I think I'm gonna have a bagel. Barely ate anything today. But her Frenchie is named Brody. It's so cute. I have to unplug the microwave. But I'm also kind of nervous because Blue, a lot of the time at the dog park, she's fine. But sometimes she barks at other dogs. But normally with other Frenchies, she's fine. If you have a Frenchie, you just know, like, the Frenchies make weird noises when they meet other people and other dogs. That's why, like, I feel like other dogs are weirded out by her because she's like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, hopefully, they get along. Every Frenchie that Blue's ever met, I'm pretty sure they've, they've gotten along, so. And then I'm going to bring her ball. She's always so happy when she has her ball, so. <laughs> <laughs> do you wanna, do you wanna, I didn't even say it. Do you wanna go to the park? Do you wanna go to the park? <laughs> the Uber's so close, come. Okay, ready? You got everything, you got your ball, the keys, let's go. We made it. I think we go here. This is the dog, the pink park. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I had the nicest Uber driver. He was like, I was trying to speak French to him and he's like, you speak French? And I'm like, je parle un peu. <laughs> and then he was teaching me. He's like, okay, well, we can practice. Like, tell me about your day. So I was telling him and it was really nice. So nice to meet nice people. But I'm looking for my friend right now. I'm looking for the dog part. I think it's more on the right over here. <laughs> <laughs> Look guys, Blue is a friend! So now we're getting some rosé, I'm getting a little wine, and we're gonna drink right there. Look at the Eiffel Tower! Oh, you guys are friends now. So I'm waiting for my Uber right now, but Joy, she just has to catch the train because she's living outside of France right now. She's moving to Paris soon. Look at this view. I don't know if you can see the Eiffel Tower. Blue's really excited. We got a lot of walking in. We got the pee, we got the poo out. <laughs> but I'm super happy. And I honestly, I got to see a lot of fun places. There's some beautiful um, fountains that she was showing me. And like, I think it's good to have some, cause she's lived here for a while. So it's good to have people that have lived here and can introduce you to like cute places. Cause I just see everything on TikTok. I don't know what's good or what's, you know, what's there to see here other than the touristy spot. So it was nice. The fountains were gorgeous. And we went to the Jardin, I forget what it was called, but it's where they filmed Emily in Paris. It's so beautiful, but yeah. Now we're just waiting. The Uber is four minutes away. Oh, look at the Frenchie. There's so many Frenchies today. Oh my god. Hey, it's the next day and I need to show you. So I just finished my first ever Pilates class. Hi, baby. Are you so happy? I just finished my first ever Pilates class and it was actually really good. As I was walking, I passed by this Poke Bowl stop. Bitch, shut the f up. I've literally been eating like bread and sandwiches this past week and it just feels so good to be able to order a Poke Bowl. I don't even care if it's good. I just want it. Like, I'm so excited. Look at this. Oh, I just swallow my drool. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I asked for spicy mayo. Let's add it. Oh my God. Oh, that looks so good. Pickle, come here. Mommy has a Poke Bowl. Oh my God, I'm so excited. You have no idea. Mm. And it's good too, bitch. But I feel really good about myself. I feel like I'm being very independent. So yesterday I met up with my friend who also has a friend too. Her name is Joy. And we had a great time. We were just walking around. Afterwards, I dropped Blue off here because she had like a super long walk. She was super tired. And I was like, you know what? I really wanted to watch The Little Mermaid. So I did my Google research and I found some movie theaters that speak English where they play the English film. And I went to see a movie by myself. And it was actually not as lonely as you think. There were a ton of people in the movie theater that were also watching it by themselves because it was like a Monday. But the movie theaters 
in France, they go crazy. Like it was actually so beautiful in there. I even got some popcorn. I got some Maltesers. Like it was good. But yeah, this morning I was supposed to do a video with the guy that tours apartments, you know, he's in Paris. His name is Caleb Simpson, um, but his flight got delayed so we weren't able to do it. But hopefully he comes back and he's able to tour my apartment. But yeah, I went to my Pilates class and it was really good. Now I have to take Blue out for a little walk. Do you hear that? I'm just enjoying my Pokeball right now. I don't know, I'm really proud of myself. I had a lot of anxiety last week because I was like, I don't know anyone. I'm just gonna stay in the apartment all day. Like, I'm a loser. But I've been going to Pilates by myself. I went to the movies by myself. I've been going out and eating by myself. And it's honestly really nice and I'll do it with Blue. I've been making some friends. So I don't know, I'm really proud of myself because I'm an introvert at heart. But when I push myself, I can pretend to be extroverted. I'm gonna finish my bowl. And then we go on a walk. A walkie. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I realized I forgot to end the vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Today's merch shout out of the day goes to Aaliyah on Instagram. She's wearing the girls supporting girls forest green crew neck. This is one of my favorite colors that we've ever done. I love the forest green. And then today's tip of the day goes to simple teenage mind underscore on Instagram. And their tip of the day says always romanticize your life. I love this tip of the day because I feel like that's just the, the way to be happy in life is to just romanticize it. Like be cringy. Who cares? They always say that nobody thinks you're cringy once you're successful so just be yourself and be cringy and be fucking weird and romanticize your life and like do things and sing in the shower and do whatever the fuck you want because girl you only have one life people are gonna judge you no matter what but i love you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog i'll see you guys in my next vlog every i'm trying to do it monday wednesday friday have you noticed i'm being consistent but i'm always here if you need to talk same place same time love you guys you bye you Feel it rush, sipping on Hawaiian punch. Squeeze the sides, feel it rush, sipping on Hawaiian punch. Yeah. Do you like all this gush? I oh, know you can't get enough.